everyone, it's Tamberamba here, also known as Tammy Klinger. Thanks so much for joining my art journal channel today. So today's another creation for Art by Marlene and as always it's bold and bright and I love that this time it's got a bit of black and white for a bit of contrast in it. So I begin this one in my perfect size journal and I'm just uh, flipping through for a page. Uh, I'm going to do the reverse of one of the other of one page I'd already created and then I grab out um, the Marlene's World collage paper and I just straight away there was a little bit of scrap of this piece of paper there um, and I thought well right, that's it that's what I'll use so that's going to be my jumping off point so what you can see here is I'm grabbing inspiration from that um, sheet of, of paper so the paint colors that I grabbed to go with it are ballet mermaid smurf sky punk and royal so i've started putting a bit of the ballet down which is the pink and i just kind of am matching it i, I keep putting the paper back just to make sure that the colors are going to kind of line up so it looks like it's all going to be one large background and not sort of a piece of paper stuck on onto my sheet so i started with the um the pink and then i came in with some mermaid and then some smurf and then just a touch of that punk up in the corner. So that that's um, the background. So what I do is now stick the paper on with some matte gel medium. And then what I'll do is I'll come in and I'll recreate some of those mark makings and patterns that are in the background there. So I'll probably just give this a dry. Yep, dry it off with my heat gun. And then I'll probably grab a stencil Yep, so I've got the baby wipes ready and I um, am laying down over the pink paint. I've added some of the sky paint um, and while it's wet, so working very quickly, I grab uh, that stencil, which is one by the Crafters Workshop that Marlene designed. And I love it because it's got all different patterns. It's obviously a scene, but there's all little sections that you can use um, on your background and I basically drew inspiration right in the background of that paper there's some geometric shapes and there's also some circular shapes so that's where I've drawn inspiration from so um, I'm using another little stencil here so this time I'm actually sponging the paint through the stencil um, to leave little marks and the other way I did it was just to put paint down so I also did with that with the white I just popped paint down and then pulled it back up through the stencil using a wet baby wipe. So those two techniques really build up layers and really help everything merge together. So I'm coming in doing bit here, bit there, and you'll just see it just starts to all become one um, fairly quickly. So a bit of mark making helps. And then I've noticed so those little circular patterns in the paper on the left. So I grabbed one of the little stamps from Mixed Element Stamps, which I love these. But there's a little circular stamp in there. And I just used some of the white paint to um, on, onto the stamp and then put it on the page. And it just ties that in really well. But just make sure you clean off that stamp. So I was pretty happy, but I just felt like I needed some deeper colour of that sort of, it's like a magenta colour. So the new um, Kissy, uh, that's one of the new paints, is that beautiful colour like that. So I've just added a little bit of that. Now what I did there was, and I'm glad I did because I was actually working upside down without realising. So what I did was I just went back to my journal and made sure the reverse of it was sitting where it needs to. And that made me turn my page upside down. So lucky I did that or I would have been disappointed <laughs> when I put it in my album. So then I've just grabbed one of the die cut paper frames and I just cut off one of the edges of one of the frames, that black and white. I love bold colour with some black and white stripes or black and white spots. It's kind of something I do really regularly. So the other thing I've done is I've grabbed one of the um, metal dies, which is the chicken wire, and I've just cut it out of some black um, paper. 
and I'm just playing around with it, cutting the, the wiry shapes into sort of smaller sections. So I'll put it in three or four clusters on my page. Um, and I will probably use those little gorgeous little hexagons that come out of it as well. So I'm just adhering those with um, matte gel medium. And then sticking on my my border. And then I'm just filling in the gaps with a few of those little cute little hexagons. Um, not every one, just one every so often, just to sort of create some movement through the page because I think your eye automatically gets drawn to those stronger sections. And so if they're sort of random through the page here and there, your eye gets to travel along the page following them. So then I've got the leftover frame that I actually um, cut off the black and white stripe from and I really love how vibrant white that paper is. So I decided to stamp on it and I grabbed the flower stamp that's um, from a lot of birds from the Back to Nature collection and as soon as I stamped it and looked at it, I didn't see a flower, I saw some hearts. Uh, so I've so you'll see that as I cut them out. So I decide to go with that and cut out the hearts. And whoops, I cut that straight in half, not thinking. So now I have two single sides left <laughs> and they don't make hearts. So I imagined at this point that I would have them hanging hanging from that black and white border some hearts I thought right I know what I'm doing but what actually happened was I also turned the heart and saw wings straight away and I thought oh they'd make beautiful wings so what I did is I flipped through some of the paper elements books and I found this girl and I thought well the wings are going to look perfect on her so I decided to go with both um, I decided I'll use the hearts hanging and the little wings and then I also found her a little black and white heart to have in her hand so it's almost like she's hanging love all over the place she's you know throwing love out into the world so I'm sticking on those hearts with the sticky glue and then I think aha in the bin I threw those singular um, petals that I trimmed off and cut in half and was going to throw them out but what I decided to do was dig them out and just stick them uh, on top of the the wings that I've already put there just so she's got really three-dimensional um, wings so I'm only gluing down the first you know the bit that's near her back so the rest sits up so yeah so I guess it's it's always good to look at stamps and think hmm if I turn this upside down what can I see what can I turn it into um, so now I come in with a black paint pen and I'm just making it look like those those hearts are hanging so I'll add a little bow um, so a line that they're hanging on and then a little bow and then I'm just going to add some shadowing around um, the girl and around the lines in it so I did add a little bit of black paint to give her some ground to stand on and um, and then yeah I'm just outlining and shadowing her now something I did off camera that you probably can't see is she's actually was really pink she looked like she'd been sunburnt so once I finished you can see her face is quite pink there I actually did just put a little bit of the um, skin color over her just to tone tone it down a little bit Okay, so what did I miss? So I added a quote and the quote, a sticky quote from Marlene says, what we see depends on what we look for. And I just thought that was perfect because I'd stamped flowers, seen hearts, and they then also became wings. So it just spoke to me. Okay, so now out of the uh, little jar stamp from the Back to Nature, I found those two little hearts and I've just stamped them in black ink, sort of randomly through throughout the page and um, I will add again make them hang so it's just to give a little bit more dimension just a bit of extra interest to the page and something that I did do as well um, 
once I had finished was I coloured a couple of those in with well, just with some paint pens. So the black was kind of getting lost with the black um, hexagon shapes, the hearts and the... So I decided just to add a little bit of colour to them. So finally here I'm just going around with some black ink around the um, edge just to create a frame and that basically just finishes it off. Um, here I'm just adding a couple more mark makings. I felt like I didn't have enough aqua or mermaid on my page so I just came in and added a little bit more. And that's it. So I'm really happy with it. It looks really good. You'll see in the pictures those few changes I made at the end just toning her skin down and just adding a touch of colour to some of those stamped hearts. Thanks so much for joining me on my channel today. I love it when you leave me a comment so I know that you are here. As always, I'll leave a list in the comments of all the products I use.